obviously the next day we flew out to Seattle and the flight up to Seattle is actually really nice. You get to see a lot of the, like the, the mount, there's a few mountains around here that was really cool to see a few volcanoes. Um, I think we saw Mount St. Helens, which is awesome. And then the flight in, the flight into Seattle is really cool. Uh, you get to see the Space Needle, you get to see the skyline, everything as you fly in. It's super cool. <laughs> it's super cool. One of the best, like, I guess, entrances into a city that I've had, you know, on, on my trips. Um, and, you know, we came into Seattle. We had a, we just bummed out after that. We had some dinner and we called it a night. But the next day, we went um, basically exploring. We just went exploring around the city. We don't have a car here. We're all, we're just walking. Because um, I not think it's going to be worth it. Uh, we're going to be at PAX for like three days. So we're, um, you know, we're heading to, we were heading down the Space Needle. We went uh, down to the, down to the uh, waterfront, just walked all around the city. It was great. It was awesome. We uh, had lunch in the market. It was cool. I really enjoyed that. It was um, good food. Uh, the, the city's got a cool vibe to it. It's got a... Um, We've been to Melbourne and Australia quite a lot, and to come here, it's actually really similar to that, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, then, yeah, and we just basically went around, we saw the Space Needle. Space Needle is not as high as I thought it was, and it's not where I thought it was. I thought it was in the city, but it's not. It's out further. But it makes sense because it was made for the, the World Fair. So, you know, and we, we, you know, we, we checked out the monorail and things like that. So it was pretty cool. Um, then today we actually went, because we never went inside the, uh, the stuff that's around the Space Needle. Uh, but today we ended up going down there and we, we went back down there and we went into all the different places and we had lunch down there and this is awesome. I guess it's like it's not a science it's it's cool uh it's called like emp i think it's like it's like all the pop culture stuff and it has like it had like the seahawks museum um which is an exhibit which is interesting i'm an nfl fan so seeing the seahawks stuff was kind of cool um but i'm a patriots fan uh Sorry, guys, if you, you don't like the Patriots. A lot of you won't, uh, but I'm, I'm a Patriots fan. And it was interesting to see that nothing was said about their loss in the Super Bowl, but all right. <laughs> um, but I got to see their ring. I got to see the Lombardi Trophy. That was really cool. Um, then they have, like, it's a big music uh, uh, museum as well, and they had, like, Jimi Hendrix, Nirvana, just a whole bunch of stuff. It was really cool. To see all that stuff. Um, I, I like music. I'm a bit of a music buff, but it, it was still cool to see. Um, then they had like, they had like these different like genre things. They had uh, sci-fi, like all this stuff. And they had stuff from Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Aliens, um, Starship Troopers, all the sci-fi stuff. They had a whole bunch of things, even Ghostbusters. It was really cool. Um, just a whole bunch of props, whole bunch of stuff set up. Uh, they had all the guns, all the things. They even had Terminator there. It was really cool. Had a blast going in there. That was so awesome. Because I'm a big sci-fi fan. If you haven't, if you can't tell, <laughs> you can't tell by my by my shirt. I'm a big sci-fi fan. Um, then they had. Uh, fantasy one and the fantasy one was all about like Lord of the Rings Game of Thrones even like Narnia a uh, whole bunch of things and they even had some D&D &D stuff there which is kind of really cool too because it's like creating worlds and it's creating things and to see D&D &D stuff there was really cool and they had like the original book and it was pretty cool to see um, they had a lot of the uh, costumes from places and they sort of broke everyone down into like classes, like knights, uh, the unlikely hero, things like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, then, what else did they have? Oh, they had horror. 
Uh, I'm not a big horror fan, but they had like horror stuff. They had like some props. They had some masks. They uh, like explained the stories that like what was really behind them, things like that. It was the classic stuff. It's not not a lot of the gory things that you see now, but it's the classics. You know, like the monster movies and things like that too. So it was pretty cool. But I, I think the oh. They also had uh, an indie game, uh, an indie, yeah, indie gamer, like, dev uh, exhibit, which is really cool. Nintendo put it on, and it had a whole bunch of indie games. It had stuff like how they made Papers, Please, and the, how they designed all this stuff. They had um, Pony Island, and a whole bunch of games, and it was really awesome to see. And it was just all done up, there's, like, tablets, and there was computers, and just a whole bunch of stuff. And we just went nuts in there. It was awesome to see. And they had, like, interviews with a whole bunch of indie devs. And it was really cool to see a gaming thing inside of a museum, like, a, a, a museum sort of exhibit thing like that. It was really, really awesome. Um, but I guess the coup de grace of this entire thing was the Star Trek uh, exhibit. Dudes... I'm not much of a Trekkie, but there's a guy in our group who loves Star Trek. It's his thing. And he went nuts. <laughs> he went absolutely nuts. Um, he, it, it was really cool. It had a lot of the original stuff, uh, all the original costumes, a lot of, like, he explains, like, how Star Trek was created, the, you know, Gene Rottenberry's sort of philosophy behind the whole thing. They had all all the Star Trek stuff, all the Star Trek stuff, and it was for their 50th anniversary, like of Star Trek, and it was pretty cool. It was really cool. I loved I loved seeing all of it. Um, cause it brought me back to like my childhood watching like Next Generation and all that stuff. Cause Star Trek was always going on in my house, and to see that was really cool. It was really cool, and. Um, yeah, it was just a whole bunch of costumes, all the, like, there's some, some set stuff, there was some models of all the ships, and just some really cool things, really cool things. I was really impressed by it. And yeah, um, tomorrow I'm heading off to uh, an air museum, and I was all these museums, but it's just who we are. Um, there's a group of us heading off to the air museum, because we're some plane buffs here, and plus we get to see uh, there's like a shuttle thing of like a tr the stuff they use for training. Uh, we're gonna go see that, so it's gonna be cool. Um, so some of us are heading out there, and some of us are staying here, and they're gonna go shopping. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, pretty excited. I gotta get up early though, uh, and then it is gonna be PAX. It's gonna be PAX, bro. PAX, PAX West, I'm seeing, it's right down there, it's right down there, I can see it, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be PAX the entire time, um, I'll be hopefully doing wrap-ups of every day, I'm pretty excited about that, seeing badges and all the rest of it, it's awesome, um, so I'm going to be doing wrap-ups every day, all the cool games I'm seeing, all this awesome stuff. Uh, and just the perspective of someone who's never been to one of these things, uh, sort of explaining like how like just amazing I guess it's gonna be, and yeah, so yeah, that's gonna that's it really. Uh, that that was LA and the first part of Seattle. I hope you guys are having a great day, uh, great night or wherever you are, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye.